Can I move? Yes. Good. Okay. Hi. Pink wine. Not just any pink wine. This is social media influencer, holly weird pink wine. But the difference is this is legit pink wine. Beautiful pink wine. The whole, uh, yeah, Brangelina thing, right? Jolie, Pitt, Brangelina, Miraval, Provence. Got the world on a string. You're both beautiful. You have hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, I don't have hundreds of millions of dollars. I got wine though, if you wanna buy some wine for me. I got plenty of wine, it's available, you can buy it. So they did the right thing. They bought Miraval. This is a historic property in the Cote de Provence. Historic for a number of reasons, right? Which we'll get into. I mean, first of all, it, it, it's the wine, right? It's the wine. So uh, Cote de Provence, classic region for rosé. Beautiful rosé wines coming from Provence, have been for years. And in the last, you know, 10 years, Provence caught fire. You know, between Miraval, between Whispering Angel, um, a number of other, Minuti, and a lot of other, these top properties, people learned about great Provençal rosé. And, you know, 15 years ago, Provençal rosé, no one gave zero cares. I can't, I could swear here, but I probably won't. Now rosé is like a thing. And the reason rosé is a thing is because of the quality of Provençal rosé, which we adore. We were drinking this forever, couldn't sell a lick of it back in the 90s. And then, you know, come to 2000s, everyone's like, ooh, dry rosé, because, you know, everyone got over the whole white Zinfandel thing, but they still needed pink wine to drink. You still needed pink wine in the summertime. It was hot. You weren't going to drink white wine because, you know, so you wanted pink wine and boom, Provençal Rosé immediately. And the Miraval property is a fantastic property in the heart of the Côte de Provence with a great recording studio. We'll get to that in a minute. But, you know, the point is they bought this property and they didn't just buy it and then just like do like the Rolling Stones thing, just hang out at it and do a bunch of heroin and make an okay record. Okay, just, I know you think, we can talk about that later. It's just an okay record. I, more Beatles. Anyway, they didn't do that. They, um, they went about the process of making a dynamite property at Miraval restoring Miraval to all of its glory and then some. You know, dealing with the, uh, they made the right phone call. They called the Perens. Uh, do you know who the Perrin family is? They're kind of a big deal in the wine world. Chateau Beaucastel, Chateau de Beaucastel, arguably the, the greatest estate in Chateau Neuf du Pape. Historic, legendary estate. Uh, they make La Vieille Ferme, which is by the glass, probably the French red wine by the glass in more places in America than any other. They are like the first family of the, of the Southern Rhone Valley. These guys run things. They're brilliant winemakers. They know how to do everything. And when Brangelina first bought the property, that's the call that they made. That's the phone call. And we're so glad they made it because the Miraval Rosé from the start was exciting wine. How many contrived Hollywood BS I'm an actor slash actress. I'm gonna make slash this type of wine, slash this type of wine. Get some Instagram followers, da 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 da. I'm gonna tell everybody it's low calorie or low alcohol or more whatever. None of that came into play with this. This was all about making serious wine. They dig wine. And when that happens, and when you have the power and the money and the opportunity, and you know the right people, you make great wine. The Miraval Rosé is great friggin' wine. That's what we have to remember. Behind all the artifice in Hollywood and this, that, and the other, there's legit wine in the glass made by one of the great wine families in France. Well, Grenache, Senso, mostly Senso. Grenache, Roll, and Syrah. Now, a couple things to cover here. Senso is the secret weapon in great Cote de Provence Rosé. Senso, a lot of you don't know this grape. It is a red blending grape in Chateau Neuf du Pape, but it makes a lighter, higher acid style red wine. But when you vinify it as a rosé, it's magic because you get all these high tones, this energy, this action in the wine. Um, the wine hums, but still the base notes from the Grenache and the Syrah really carry it. And then finally they toss in 
a little Roll, uh, which is uh, an indigenous grape variety down in the southern part of France, white grape variety that they incorporate into the blend. Um, I think same as Vermentino, if memory serves, that makes really just brightens it, adds these florals and Again, this wine marks, makes you want to hit the dance floor. You know what I mean? Energy here, like humming. And they just do brilliant work with this. Now, as we all know, a lot of many good things must come to an end. And, you know, it didn't work out. Brangelina became Brad and Angelina again. So what happens? Well, yeah, I know, Patrick, you're crying. I, I'm holding back the tears myself. What happens? You know, you... Well, the show must go on. Let's carry on. Let's carry on, Miraval. Apparently, if I don't, I, I'm not a lawyer. Oh my God, I hope I don't get sued. But apparently, like, Brad Pitt owns it now, and Angelina sold her share, but maybe sold her share under duress, and there's, like, Russian paratroopers, and and vodka and yeah it, it's it's gotten a bit crazy this whole thing's just gotten like stupid crazy in the end the wine's the wine whatever happens with them whatever happens with miraval moving forward as long as the Perrin family's in there it's going to be good hands but in the meantime because of brad angelina russian paratroopers red dawn wolverines we have this, right? We have this, where we can sell you really kick-ass, legit $30 rosé for $14. That's hot. Did I mention the recording studio? One of the greatest recording studios ever? What, ACDC, uh, UB40? I mean, a million bands of have recorded the famous Miraval recording studios. Think of the history here. But you know, just beyond all that, getting back to the wine, what an amazing wine. What an opportunity to sell this wine at this price. There's a one-shot deal. The market machinations allowed for this to happen one time. Moving forward, it will not happen anymore. You have one shot at this rosé, at this, this price, and then it's gone. 14 bucks. Brangelina, Peran Family, Rosé, score, delicious. Drink it this year, drink it next year. Bon appétit.